Uh, welcome to the next video. Uh, we're just going to discuss uh, z-scores in this video. Um, and to follow along, for those who have the uh, the textbook statistics for uh, managers using Microsoft Excel 7th edition by David Levine, David Steven, and Catherine Zagabat. We're going to be on page 147. And z-score, uh, a z-score, the z-score of a data value is the difference between that value and the mean divided by the standard deviation. And with z-scores, how they can identify it, z-scores are identify as used to identify outliers. And outliers are numbers that uh, deviate uh, from the higher numbers, I mean, from the uh, data set, uh, something that's uh, uh, it's kind of way off than what's in the data set. And the values that are very different from the mean will have either very small negative Z scores or very large positive Z score numbers. And that's how you know what's an outlier. And uh, as a general rule, a Z score that is less than minus uh, 3.0 or greater than positive 3.0 indicates an outlier value. So if you go on page 147 and you look at, um, it's a table 3.9 on there, you'll see uh, the formula, which is, this is the z-score formula right here. And as you can see, um, the z-score is the each data set minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So that's your formula right here. So and to calculate that, uh, I already have this already set up. As you see, I have my time uh, uh, data points for time. And then we're going to calculate z-scores. And for convenience, I put um, the, the mean right here and the standard deviation right here. So let me bring up the uh, calculator so I can show you how to calculate this using your uh, HP 10B2 uh, financial calculator. So in order to get for time 39 right here, uh, what we want to do is uh, we want to follow that formula. Again, you want to follow this formula right here. Uh, Z equals X, meaning the data set, which is the first one is 39 minus the mean which is uh, 39.6 divided by the standard deviation, which is 6.77. So let's go back here. Um, let's do the calculations. Okay, so we know that it, the formula is uh, X minus the mean for the top part of the fraction. So we're gonna do uh, the uh, data point. So it's gonna be 39, 39. Divided by the mean. So I'm having the same issue again. So I'm just going to plug in the numbers. But on your calculator, you can actually just pull this up using uh, automatic uh, with the keys to calculate it automatically. But this is a computer version of it. So I'm going to show you, uh, just for convenience, this is what I did. So on the exam, so what you want to do is to get for each, each time, you want to get a z-score to see if there's any outliers. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do first data point is 39 minus uh, 30 minus 39.6, which is the mean. And then you equal, then you divide that by the standard deviation, divide it by 6.77, 6.77 equals, so you have a minus uh, 0 0.09. So we're going to put here, put minus 0 0.09 there. So that's our first z-score. 
So we're gonna do the rest for all the rest of them. I go back to calculations. So for 29, it's gonna be 29 minus the mean, which is uh, 39.6. equals divided by the standard deviation, which is 6.77 equals, that's 1.57. And as you can see from the book, it matches 1 point minus 1.57. So we're going to do the next one, which is 43, 43 minus the mean, which is 39.6 equals that divided by the standard deviation to 6.77 equals you have 0 0.50, so 0 0.50 with 43. Then you're going to do 59. So you got 59 minus the mean, which is uh, 339.6. Oops, sorry, made a mistake. Do it again, 52, 52 minus 39.6 equals, and divide that by the standard deviation, which is 6.77, equals 1.83. So it's 1.83. Go to the next calculation here. So it's 39 again. So we already know what 39 is because we did it above here. So we could just put in this place, knowing what it is, is minus 0 0.09. Then you go to the next one. Which is uh, 44. So you're going to do 44. I'm going to declare this. 44 minus the mean 39.6 equals 4.40 then you divide that by the standard deviation 6.77 equals so that comes out to positive uh, 0 0.65 so we'll add that in there 0 0.65. Now we'll do 40. And clear. So it's going to be 40 minus the mean, which is 39.6, divided by the standard deviation, which is 6.77. That comes out to uh, 0 0.06. So we'll do a 0 0.06. And if you follow on page uh, 147 and table 3.3, .3, you'll see that the numbers match. So we'll go to uh, data point 31 and the time list. So uh, 31, so you're gonna have 31 minus the mean is 39.6 again equals divided by the standard deviation to 6.77 equals as you can see is 1.27 1, 1 uh, minus 1.27 so I'm going to add that here on the spreadsheet minus 1.27 Okay, then we're going to go to the 44 again, which we already did calculate it there. So 
we know that, that we don't need to calculate that because it's already been calculated. So it's 0 0.65. And the final data point is 35. So we're going to do 35. So 35, let me clear the memory, with 35 minus the mean, which is 39.6. Divided by the standard deviation, which is 6.77. And we get a score of minus 0, uh, minus 0 0.68. So it's minus 0 0.68. Okay. And as you can see, those are, those are your, uh, your Z scores for, uh, for that data set. In my next video, I'm going to talk about uh, the shape and uh, the skewness and crutosis, which is going to be on page uh, 148 in my next video.